Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Wall Color Pro uh, trimmer. This is a super short review. Wall is the number one trimmer company in the United States, and I believe possibly the world. Uh, there's a ton of YouTube videos on this. There's 12,000 Amazon reviews of just this model alone. Redefines products that do sell in large numbers. This wall is actually made in the USA, of course, foreign and domestic components. Most likely that means it's a... Uh, when you say that's made in the United States, more than 50% of the 50% or more of the product has to be made here. More than likely, um, that would be the motor and the blades could make up 50% of the cost of this product. And then all the plastics and accessories would actually come from other countries. I still applaud them for doing that and having made in the USA products. Not all their products are made in the United States. It's their more premium products. The more premium products have higher profit margins which allow them to support higher cost labor in the United States and so I actually approve of what Wall's done is that they have their higher end models both, uh, both these corded trimmers as well as their lithium ion uh, trimmers are made in the United States made in the USA and I was actually pretty happy to see that the bottom end units of both the corded and then the real cheap uh, beer trimmers that weren't the lithium ion ones those were indeed made in China and they have to those products are so cheap, $15, $20 products, that there's so little margin that they just can't stay in business. And so uh, I think that they've done a pretty good job of trying to have is still have domestic manufacturing as well as actually remaining competitive in the market. Uh, a lot more things would be made in the United States if people would buy products that were made in the United States. I mean, there's a whole reason we're in this situation. It's called people want the cheapest stuff, and they vote with their feet and with their wallets, and there's no way around it. It's also the nature of competition in the United States is you come up with a better product, or you can sell a product cheaper, or you can offer better service, then you'll do better than your competitor. Walmart didn't become the nation's largest reseller out of, or retail store uh, from nowhere. It was Sam's Five and Dime, and he had a retail store where he sold stuff five cents and ten cents cheaper than the competition with a generous return policy. And guess what? Look at Walmart now. As many criticisms, plenty of criticisms of Walmart, but nonetheless, uh, it was a perfect example. So the click case is more flimsy than they used to be. I seem to remember these the older walls, like from the 90s or maybe the early 2000s, had a, a better case. This one is definitely pretty thin. Holds everything together. The lash doesn't hold particularly well. Uh, it's real thin plastic. They'll probably break off on you in real short order. But you're here for the trimmer, not for uh, the case. It has a whole bunch of different accessories. A couple of cones. Really, uh, it comes with 12 of these different... Uh, extensions all the way up through one inch. And before I get into this bag, this the cordless units have a two-year warranty. The corded units have a five-year warranty, which is something really surprising for a piece of consumer electric goods. Five years means that you do have a fair amount of confidence. Although they've been building these shavers for a long time, they have an idea how to how how they wear and what they need to do to make them last. One thing I was going to actually give credit for is a lot of warranties are getting, if it's not hand tools, are getting pretty restrictive. You've got to make sure you keep your original receipt, etc. Otherwise, you know, too bad. But on Wall's warranty here, they just say, blah, 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 fails to satisfy, operate satisfactorily, which is a decent way. You know, if you say it's bogging down or it's pulling your hairs and you say that the blades are self-sharpening, then they will... Uh, deal with it. And what I thought was actually pretty interesting is include a note describing the defect and the date of original purchase or receipt as a gift. It does not say must have original receipt. And that actually shows something. That's a pretty generous warranty policy. They really do want to stand by their products and they have a high degree of confidence of the reliability of their products. Just include a note saying I bought it four years ago and it pulls hairs and they'll deal with it. They do not pay for shipping, unfortunately. So it does come with a little cleaning brush, a little bit of uh, mineral oil, uh, just a basic 18-gauge cord here. Uh, decent length, looks like it's about six feet. Uh, a real basic pair of Chinese scissors. And I was giving it way too much credit. This is 27-gauge, or 0.1 millimeter wire, although this thing doesn't use many watts, so that should be just fine. Now, although these uh, consumer units are similar to their commercial versions, the commercial versions are designed to really last 
uh, a very long time and they are significantly more expensive, upwards of $100 for a clipper. And if you're really into the clippers, then that's what you need to do is actually buy the commercial products. Uh, and then we have a couple combs. We have one that's just in the box and then we have what they call a trimming comb. We actually conveniently have a pair of scissors to open the packaging with in the packaging. Imagine that. That's a pretty cool deal here. This was supposed to be a pretty simple review, just a filler review. You know, why not? If I bought this American-made product, might as well review it, even if there are 800 other YouTube reviews. It's not from the per perspective of somebody who's a tool collector. He's really looking at the build quality. And here's a little amusing. <laughs> this is amusing. So, that's Wall's Chinese comb. But it includes an American comb. Isn't that interesting? Now, a few things that I'm noticing is that these little uh, combs, the little standoffs, they seem to be made out of a little bit more flexible plastic. It probably helps to prevent the tines from breaking off and just help contour just a little bit easier. So I actually do appreciate that. Uh, and it does come with a little earpiece. What's interesting is this color key is not a sticker that you can pull off because I kind of don't like that on the front. It's been silk screened onto the shaver. So a little disappointed. Definitely heavy duty. Walls have always had pretty good bodies, especially this black. If we can just get the right light, you can see that it doesn't it isn't completely matte plastic, such as this comb. It almost looks like it has a silver fleck or something like that. I actually believe that's high fiberglass reinforcing, and I don't know why they wouldn't advertise that. Shavers are ob uh, obviously an item that gets dropped a lot, so I can certainly see how they might have a power tool quality body. And what makes me think that is if we take a look at like this old American Ryoe sander, uh, it has a real obvious, this has 30% uh, glass fiber, and it, you can see it has the same look. Even the plastic seems like it's the same plastic, so really, uh, that seems pretty satisfying. The newer ones, the contour is a little bit better. The switch is pretty firm. Of course, it does run smoothly. If a shaver doesn't sound like that, then there's a problem with it. I like the button. It has a reasonable amount of force. It's actually really recessed, and that's a nice compromise. If it was really easy to press or really stuck out far, it would be uncomfortable to use, and you'd be inadvertently hitting that switch all the time. And the motors in these aren't a traditional motor where they have, where it actually spins around. This is a what would be more attuned to, say, an electric engraver that buzzes or more technical terms, a solenoid. And that's one of the reasons that these are so reliable is they don't have any motor brushes to replace. And the motor doesn't actually spin either. It just vibrates back and forth at 60 times a second because that's the frequency of what comes out of your wall. And that would be WA double or WA double L, not HL. Interesting pun there. As far as the build quality, everything seems fine. These fasteners seem eh, a little bit, in, you know, they don't seem like they're the very best, but they seem that, like they're fine. They're just galvanized screws. You know, they're not like socket head cap screws. The one thing I'll mention is they have this, you know, integrated adjuster so you can do more fine adjustments. The handle is definitely pretty flimsy. There's a quite, this is, mechanism is pretty stiff, so it'll stay in place while you use the shaver. And we can see how much this flex is just adjusting it. It's really pretty surprising. Uh, this is something I see that could easily end up breaking off. And that's probably about my biggest criticism of the build quality. Anyway, it was time for me to get a new one of these and picked up this wall, saw it was American made, and said, why not? I like doing YouTube reviews, so I'll put one up of this. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And of course, we will continue with more tool reviews. This was just something to break up the monotony. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you have subscribed, thank you. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.